everyone. Welcome to the Prop Guide Show. My name is Srinivas Raut. PropTracker Data Labs has come up with a September quarter report regarding the real estate sector. And to discuss more about the comprehensive report, we have Mr. Ankur Dhawan, the Chief Business Officer, Resale in PropTiger. Welcome, Mr. Dhawan, to our show. My first question to you is, give us an idea about the real estate sector, how it fared in the September quarter. So, uh, see, as we were not expecting uh, any growth in the second quarter of the this particular quarter we're talking about. Uh, we were expecting sales to be stagnant and uh, launches also to be more or less uh, at the same level as we saw in the last quarter. But what we saw actually that the launches have been really, really low. There were 30% reduction in the new project launches and new unit launches, which obviously has impact on the sales because a lot of the sales is being driven by the new launches. So that's how we saw around 15% drop in the new, uh, new sales as well as the 30% drop in the new launches. In terms of the pricing, I think it has been a more or less stable. If you look at the aggregate level, the prices have been the same at 3 to 4% or even actually negative as well at minus 1% in some of those cities you will see. So more or less, the, not a very good sector, no, not a very good quarter actually for the real estate. So as you said, prices are not dropping. Uh, so is it correct to say that the developers are still holding on to the stocks? So yes, developers are not promoting a price reduction. It's very difficult for a developer to come out and say, okay, uh, I am reducing my prices. There are a lot of develop uh, investors who have already bought and they might cancel. So that's why what developers do is they create schemes, they create offers. So you will see a lot of subvention schemes or very low advance in which they are ready to book the apartment. Uh, also, in some of the cities, if you go and sit on the table now, they will also start discussing the negotiation. Uh, few of the cities I know where the negotiation can go up to 10 to 15 percent, which was never heard of. So that's how the market is. The developers are reducing price. They want to uh, liquidate their unsold inventory, but they will not come in open and say that I have been reducing the price. In parts of NCR, the unsold inventory is huge. But if you look closely, the ready to move in department and the unsold inventories is not that great. What could be the possible reason behind that? So NCR, if you look at the market itself, uh, it has been like going through multiple uh, regulatory issues or the, or the, or the I'll say legal issues. So the, one of the issues which is very well talked about is the NGT, the Okla Bird issue where the NGT did stop doing any OC for the in Noida market. Similarly, there have been land acquisition issues, there have been a development of infrastructure issues, the Varga Expressway, the new Gurgaon, the SPR, all those structure, uh, infrastructure which we talked about did not really materialize. So all that impacted uh, the ability of a developer to deliver also the project. And also if you look at some of the large developers of the NCR market like DLF Unitech, they have not been in the pink of their health. They have been going through financial troubles. So that is also a reason why they have not delivered the projects which they, they, they launched. And that's why you will see a lot of inventory still in the under construction and not in the ready to move in. Whereas in other cities, the projects are completing and then the are not able to sell. So that is where the major difference comes in the NCR, where there's a lot of unsold inventory in under construction, whereas uh, in other cities where you'll find ready to move inventory as well. So which city saw the maximum appreciation? Highest appreciation, even if you ask me this question, uh, we'll say Bangalore because we saw 4 to 5 percent increase in the prices. But 4 to 5 percent is very, very less for a market like Bangalore. Uh, Bangalore will continue to do well. Uh, the, the IT sector and the, the overall industry in Bangalore is doing fine. Uh, there is a demand which is growing. So we expect the Bangalore prices to further continue to on a higher side only. But overall, if you see many cities, they have not done well. The prices have been really actually negative, to be honest. If you look at the inflation adjusted prices, uh, one or two percent is not the real estate investor looking forward to. Apart from Hyderabad, none of the cities in India saw a surge in new launches. So what could be the possible reason behind that, Mr. Dhawan? So I think the only reason why Hyderabad, the, you see a percentage increase in the new launches is that Hyderabad market for last three, four years, it has been very unstable market in terms of the political situation arising there. So we have not seen too many launches there. In a quarter, we used to have 500 to 1000 units launch, which was a large number at that time. Now, because of stability, a lot of developers and the very, very well-known names like Lodha and Puvankra Prestige now are entering the Adabad market. And these guys are launching large projects. So, like Purvankra just launched a 2000 unit project. So these projects are increasing the, the, the surge which we are seeing in the new launches in the Hyderabad sector. Thank you, Mr. Dhawan, for giving your valuable time to discuss more about the Q2 report. Thanks, Thanks for watching the show. Stay connected.